have a lot of requests for a company makeup tutorial. So in this video, I've shown you how to apply everything from your foundation to your lips, to your eyes, to your brows, to your cheekbones. I hope this video helps. Just remember you're gonna be dancing for a long period of time on stage under bright lights. So you really wanna apply a lot of makeup, more than you're used to. Um, I hope this video helps and thanks for watching. First what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on my primer and then I'm going to put on my foundation. With foundation you wanna have at least uh, one to two shades darker than your normal skin tone. So, um, and just again, I don't have all the products that we use for company, but pretty similar. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just putting on a primer. Um, you don't have to do this step. I just like to do it because it really um, sets the foundation in correctly. So you just put that all over your face. Like that. All right. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your foundation. Um, again, it should be uh, darker, at least one to two shades darker than your normal skin tone. And I just put that all over my face. Um, with stage makeup, uh, you want to really overdo the, <laughs> the foundation. You want a nice, clean base. Um, and foundation really does that. So I put that all over my face. I'm just going to blend that in. This isn't that dark, but it still does the trick. Okay, and you wanna make sure that you also get into the neck. And definitely by the ears too. Like that. All right. If you have any blemishes, you want to cover that up with a little extra coverage. All right. So once I have my foundation on, I'm gonna take a powdered foundation and this is just gonna set it. Um, this is just, uh, just powder, just setting powder and you're just gonna put that all over your face and neck. And then we like to take another brush and just blend that in. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my eyes. You really want your eyes to look a lot bigger and really open on stage when you're performing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a light color and I'm just gonna put that all over my eyes. So um, you can use like a white or um, just, just something really, really light that pops. So you're gonna put that all over your eye and you can't really see it that well here but it's definitely a lot lighter than my foundation and you're gonna put that all over like that and use a bigger brush to really get it in there all right um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a slightly brighter color and I'm gonna put that on my lid, all over my lid. Okay. All right. Um, so what I like to do with that lid color is I like to take it and I like to put it under my eye as well, just a little bit. Um, it's kind of like a highlighter instead of buying like an expensive 
um, highlighting, concealer, whatever, you can just use this. Just something bright that opens up the eye. And I just put it all under. Good. All right. So um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move on to the crease of my eye. So with the crease of your eye, you're gonna choose a dark brown, so the main color you're working with. Um, and I'm gonna take, let's see. So you want something dark. So this is a dark brown, and I'm just gonna work it into the crease of my eye. Again, you really want all your colors to be exaggerated and to be really bold, especially on stage. My teacher used to say that the uglier you are up close, the better you're going to look from far away on stage. So you're going to put that into the crease of your eye. Like that. All right, I'm gonna put it a little bit more because I really want it to stick out and pop. All right. And don't be afraid of putting on too much. All right, so I have that white on my um, lid and then I have that dark, dark brown in my crease. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a slightly lighter brown and I'm gonna put it on a fluffier brush um, the one I put in my crease was just like a small little brush here. This is gonna be a fluffier brush and it's gonna just give a wider um, range of color. And I'm gonna start blending this lighter um, brown into what I just did in my crease. And then I'm gonna also put it at the bottom of my lid. And just work it in there. I'm gonna do a little bit more. You just wanna keep working it in there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I still have that white or that light, light um, beige color on my lid. I'm going to pick a lighter brown now, um, something with like a little bit more shimmer. And I'm going to, um, again, on my fluffy brush, I'm just gonna put it on outside of my lid mm -hmm. and this is like a little bit of a gold and you want to um, just lightly work it in from the crease of your eye like that. So now I've got like this brown goldish lid and again, I'm sorry, you can't really see it that well, but um, it's definitely lighter on the lid and then really dark in that crease. And I'm just going to now take a different brush, hopefully clean, and just work it in there. Just blend it all in. All right, um, so now what you wanna do is because you've done that lid and um, you wanna definitely go back into the crease with that dark, um, that second color that you chose, and then just go over that whole process again and just do the whole lift, uh, crease again. And I just blend it in there. So definitely with your eyes, you're gonna keep reworking it and you're just gonna keep layering the makeup on. All right. All right. So now that you have that on, your eyes should be um, full of color. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over um, my brow right here. And you wanna take that light, light base or white color. Um, I really like when dancers have white under their eyes. I'm gonna take another brush. And I'm just gonna go right underneath my eyebrow. Just so it's nice, bright there because you have all that dark brown 
and you just want your eyes to pop again. There. Okay. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brown again and just work my crease. Um, just keep really defining that crease and that dark color. And then blend it in. Good. So you see there, nice and dark, right on the top, right on the bottom. And next what I'm going to do before I put on any more eye makeup, because we will continue with the eyes, um, I'm going to line my eyes with a black eyeliner. You can use liquid or pencil. I prefer liquid. It draws really nice clean lines. Um, and then we will put on eyelashes. So now I have my eyelashes on. Um, so what I did was I just took my eyeliner and I drew right along the edge of my eye and I glued the eyelashes right on that line. Um, so pretty simple, just like that. So now what I'm gonna do, I am going to just touch up my um, eyeshadow. So again, what I like to do is I like to um, take that light or white color and I put it all along my brow line up top. So as you can see, we're just like layering and layering more makeup on. You really want to, especially with competition, you're dancing all day, you're sweating. Um, you wanna make sure that you have a lot of makeup on, otherwise it's just gonna wash right off. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna even take a, uh, like a brighter white, and I'm gonna really, just so it really pops. All right. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna take a different brush, just a smaller smaller brush, and I'm gonna take that light color and put it in the crease of my eye. Just like that. And work it in there. That way, you can see it's a little bit lighter by the corners of my eye. It's really nice and white up here on my brow. And then the lid is that um, light brown color and then the dark is in that crease. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Um, you want to just take a eyebrow brush and I like to brush mine upwards just so they look a little bit bigger. You definitely don't want to forget your eyebrows. They're pretty important. Next I'm gonna take a darker pencil, just um, a brown and I'm going to just start filling it in. So I like to have a nice defined shape with my eyebrow, just little dashes. Um, just follow that eyebrow. Look a little bit darker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it out again. Handy little brush and brush it up because you don't want it to look like drawn on eyebrows. You want it to look natural but thick and full. <laughs> That's what I like to see on stage. Um, now what I'm going to do, just one last step for my eyebrows. I take a, um, um, a brush kind of like that, nice and thin, easy to draw with, and I take a brown color that kind of matches my eyebrows or the color that I was painting them with, drawing them on with, and I'm just going to fill in the whole brow.
like that. You definitely want them to pop out. <laughs> Just go all out one more time. Again, when you're using your pencil, you want to just use little dashes so that it doesn't look like thickly drawn on. Looks somewhat natural. <laughs> just like that. So I have my eyebrows now. Nice, thick, bold, really stand out. So now that the eyebrows are done and the eyes are almost done, I'm going to contour my face. Um, nothing complicated, nothing crazy, um, simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a dark brown uh, bronzer. And I like to use just a small, small brush. And this is important. This is going to really um, blend the face into the hairline, just make everything really, really natural looking on stage because you're having those bright lights flash on you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my bronzer and I'm just going to put it, blend it into my hairline, like so. And take my bronzer brush, just really blend it in. So what I do, why I do this is because um, when you have your foundation on, it's like one clear, good base, and then hairline. So you kind of want to show it gradually blending into your hairline. Um, it just, it's, it looks better on stage with all the lights. So I'm going to keep working that in there. Just that nice dark bronzer color. That's whether you have blonde, black, brown, whatever color hair you have, um, that's you want to do this. You want to show that line. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my bronzer brush and the same color, I'm going to do my cheekbones. And just little circles, blend it in. So for all of you who think this is so much makeup, it's really not. Up close, it's gonna look kind of scary, <laughs> but on stage, it's gonna look natural, somewhat. Lots of brush, lots of bronzer, and just work it in to that hairline. Like so. Make sure it's not like a streak. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go back to my eyes using my liquid eyeliner. I'm going to um, just draw that wing on that, my top lid. Um, for competition, I think we're just gonna use, just do one um, line on the top, just a little cat eye, um, just to extend that eye up um, and make them look even more open. For the underneath of your eye, what I recommend is just um, a pencil eyeliner and just drawing on underneath your eye. We don't need to do another wing. Um, that's for really, really big stages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my best to do a little cat eye wing. So I'm gonna get up close and personal so you can see this. Just draw, because I've already drawn on that bottom eyeliner, I just start like center of my brow and I just draw this little line. And I'm just gonna connect it. Just like that. So it kind of looks like a little triangle, weirdly shaped triangle. Like so. Um, so that's what it looks like, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it to the rest of my eye. Um, and you just wanna, it's really easy with liquid, you can just kind of paint it on. I'm trying to show you how to do that. Like so. So 
So now my eye just kind of extends out. So when you look straight at me, it looks kind of like my lashes just keep going. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my mascara. What I like to do is I like to curl up my eyelashes so they're nice and bold, nice and um, straight up. Take my mascara and apply that. Mascara is my favorite. It just opens up your eyes so much. And make sure you get the bottom as well. So what you can see is I have my black eyeliner right here and that white in the crease. And I'm just going to apply my mascara here. So now you can see my eyes are very dark. <laughs> Got that wing on. And my lashes. So almost done. And now we just have to do lips. I have my eyes on, my lashes on, my brows applied, um, bronzer, really defined cheekbones. And now we're just going to do a nice bold red lip. I always like to outline my lip first. Um, I choose a darker color. Um, and I'm just going to. Pencil in my lip and make it just look a little bit bigger than it actually is. Like that. like that. All right, and then you find your um, red lipstick. Mine. Here it is. So it's just a little bit, um, it's not the one that we use, but use the one you have for company. Um, and then I'm going to put that on. one last time so they're even draw in that lip line so I've made it a little bit more exaggerated than my real lip And that's it. Um, so one more time, you just want to really exaggerate your face, um, put on a lot, a lot of makeup. Um, don't be afraid of putting on that much makeup, um, but you definitely want a nice, bold face.